Nearly 30 hospitals across the Carolinas lost out on federal money two years in a row. It's because they failed to prevent so-called hospital acquired conditions leading up to the pandemic. So we're talking about health problems that originated in the hospital. These could be anything from falls to infections. In a Where's the Money investigation, our Nate Morabito discovered when patients are harmed, hospitals are often penalized. We analyzed federal data and found well-known hospitals on the list two years in a row, including what's now known as Atrium Health Pineville. When 15-year-old Lewis Blackman died after elective surgery in South Carolina, we were immensely proud of him. Saddened and stunned, his mother made it her life's mission to protect other patients. Everybody thinks that you somehow have a little invisible shield around you if you're not used to being sick. That was in 2000, despite 22 years of advocacy and major strides. I don't think in all that you're, that you're safer in the hospital than you were in those days. COVID-19 has undone some of the progress. We've had a real backsliding in patient safety. Research and data back that up. But federal records show even before COVID-19, many hospitals lagged behind their peers. The newest data from Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, analyzed by WCNC Charlotte, show the agency penalized facilities two years in a row in 2021 and 2022 for their pre-pandemic performance, including the former Carolina's Medical Center Pineville and Novant Health Mid-Hill Medical Center. We identified more than two dozen others in the Carolinas that received back-to-back -back payment reductions reductions as well. We want to make sure that we don't see trends and we don't see problems that aren't being corrected. Lawrence Muscarella is a hospital safety and infection prevention expert. Quality improvement allows for mistakes, but it requires corrections. He says it's especially critical for patients to keep an eye on this as we learn more about the impacts of the pandemic in the coming years. Tell the hospitals you're thinking of going to another hospital that maybe has better numbers or better indicators. We need to become very active consumers, not passive consumers. In response to our reporting, Atrium Health told us it focuses on continuous performance improvement to prevent errors using an integrated evidence-based approach, analyzing patterns and trends in real time to reduce patient harm, complications, and readmissions. The health system added it continues to work toward delivering on patients' expectation of the best for their health care needs. Novon Health, meanwhile, told us its teams work around the clock to develop best, safe practices to serve patients and communities, noting it standardizes procedures based on best practices, re-educating clinical team members, and implementing new strategies and technologies, such as artificial intelligence, to improve quality and safety. It's worth noting, Minhill Medical Center opened in October 2018, which means with limited data, a single case of C. diff infection heavily impacted its score. Both health systems noted the older data used to grade them in this program don't show the reality inside their hospitals today. Our position has always been that disclosure is the first step. That's why Helen Haskell, founder and president of Mothers Against Medical Error, wants the government to require real-time data reporting for all infections to protect other families in memory of Lewis. When it's time for the next round of penalties, the federal government's giving hospitals a pass for its 2020 data due to the impact of COVID-19. Nate Morabito, WCNC Charlotte.